the story behind the merciless execution of the 17-year-old leper addict. What was it like for a 17-year-old living under the ruthless Nazi regime? Buckle up as we recount the life and cruel death of leper addict in the darkest times of Yugoslavia. Can your heart be brave enough to know? Born on December 19, 1925, Lepa Zvetozera Radic was a bright, serious, dedicated student. Even at her tender age, she has shown great interest in learning and reading advanced literature. Despite being young, Lepa Radic has already established her political stand. The young girl's family has a great influence on her involvement in politics. Her uncle, Vladeta Radic, is a member of an underground labor movement. Thus, his guidance has opened Lepa's interest in communism. Can you imagine being politically active in your teenage or younger years? How about being a young prisoner? Since Lepa's childhood, she was an active member of the League of Communist Youth in Yugoslavia. When the Axis power has invaded Yugoslavia, Lepa Radic's family was involved with a movement against them. With that, her whole family was imprisoned in Stara Gradiska prison. Of course, the story of Lepa Radic was continued when she and her sister, Era, were rescued by the partisans' undercover members. Then Lepa, at 15, joined the Communist Party of Yugoslavia alongside her sister. Lepa has a varying role in the partisan. She served as a nurse, recruited younger members, was a field activist, political leader, and even participated in combat. One of the most challenging missions Lepa encountered was evacuating the wounded members. She was tested when the Axis Case White was launched against the partisans. The Communist Party of Yugoslavia's leader, Josip Tito Roz, swore not to leave any wounded members behind. He is afraid that they will get executed by the Axis powers. When the year 1943 came, Leporadic turned 17, and her heroism was stronger. In February, she tried to free 100 captured women and children from the Axis powers. Her failure to free the captives alerted the Nazis. Lepa refused to surrender and tried to fight the Nazis. Her rifle's limited ammunition led to her downfall. The Nazis held Lepa captive. They tortured her for three years, expecting her to release important information about the Yugoslavia partisan. Her refusal to reveal any information has led to her cruel execution. On February 8, 1943, Lepa Radic was sentenced to public execution. However, she was offered a pardon if she revealed the asked information about the Yugoslavia partisan. Lepa refused and embarked with conviction that she was not a traitor and the information will be disclosed by the members themselves after they kill the Nazis. Enraged, the Nazis put the noose on her neck. Here are the last brave words the 17-year-old Lepa bravely uttered. Long live the Communist Party and partisans. Fight, people, for your freedom. Do not surrender to the evildoers. I will be killed, but some will avenge me. The Yugoslavian government recognized Lepa Radik's heroism and was awarded the Order of the National Hero on December 20, 1951. To see the continuation of this video, click the following links to witness more interesting images and amazing videos.